in the early hours of November 12, 2020, the quiet, affluent suburb of Dover Heights in Sydney, Australia, witnessed the beginning of a mystery that would soon grip the nation. Melissa Caddick, a 49-year-old esteemed financial advisor, vanished without a trace. The aura of enigma surrounding Caddick's disappearance wasn't just a simple case of a missing person. It soon unraveled the tale of alleged deceit, financial mismanagement, and a desperate search for truth. Melissa Caddick was not an ordinary Sydney cider. With a thriving career as a financial advisor, she lived a life many could only dream of. However, beneath the glitz and glamour lay a tumult of alleged fraudulent financial activities. Melissa Caddick, born Melissa Louise Grimley on April 21, 1971, spent her early years in the quiet suburb of Lagarno, south of Sydney. Upon bidding farewell to her high school years, she sought to carve a niche in the business realm, enrolling in a secretarial and business administration course at Patrick's College Australia in Sydney. However, as her career trajectory veered towards the financial sector, a veil of deceit subtly interwove with her professional persona. Her resume, a gateway to the affluent clientele she'd later amass, boasted fictitious qualifications, including degrees in finance from the prestigious University of Technology, Sydney. However, the facade crumbled when UTS clarified that neither a Melissa Caddick nor a Melissa Grimley had ever graced the halls of their institution for a graduate diploma or master's in finance. This stark revelation shed light on the enigmatic facade that shrouded Melissa Caddick's professional journey, laying the groundwork for the tempest of scrutiny that would later engulf her life. Melissa Caddick's venture into the financial sphere commenced at NRMA's investment division, before she transitioned to a boutique investment bank in Sydney as an office administrator. However, merely six months into her tenure in 1998, an undercurrent of deceit emerged. Caddick was found to have pilfered close to $2,000 from the company, forging her boss's signature on several checks. Offered the ultimatum of a quiet exit or facing legal repercussions, she chose the former, stepping away from the scandal unscathed. Subsequently, Caddick found her footing as a financial advisor at Wise Financial Services, an ING subsidiary. Her ascent was swift. A loan of $750,000 facilitated her purchase of a 25% stake in the firm. By 2003, the financial community heralded Caddick as a reputable figure. Her prowess showcased on the cover of the trade magazine Independent Financial Advisor. However, discord brewed when Wise balked at her desire to delve into property and shares recommendations for clients, citing regulatory compliance hurdles. As years rolled on, the flamboyance of Caddick's spending raised eyebrows. When prodded about the financial fountainhead of her opulent lifestyle, she spun tales of an $86 million windfall from Wise, sometimes masquerading as a severance package, other times as a hefty settlement from a sexual harassment claim. In stark contrast to these fabricated narratives, the truth was far more mundane. The parting with Wise saw Caddick recoup only her initial $750,000 investment, alongside a binding five-year non-compete agreement. This dissonance between Caddick's portrayed financial windfall and reality hinted at the murky financial waters that surrounded her, a prelude to the impending storm that would later engulf her existence. The narrative of Melissa Caddick's personal life intertwined with her professional facade, reflecting a tapestry of ambition, deception, and eventual dissolution. While working as a financial advisor, Melissa met Tony Caddick, an English expatriate working as a builder's laborer in Sydney. The pair's relationship moved quickly, and they soon exchanged vows at the historic Garrison Church in Millers Point, Sydney, on April 20, 2000, stepping into a shared life that would soon be accentuated by the birth of their son in 2006. 
Encouraged by Melissa, Tony, a political science enthusiast, transitioned his career pathway, achieving his law degree and earning admission as a solicitor by April 2006. Their collective narrative took a transcontinental leap in 2010 when the family relocated to Essex, England, to foster familial connections while Tony commuted daily to his London-based job. However, the English countryside didn't resonate with Melissa's aspirations. Reportedly discontent and yearning for engagement, she orchestrated a sojourn to Switzerland under the guise of attending a financial conference to brush up on her skills. Unbeknownst to Tony, the Swiss narrative was a facade, masking a clandestine rendezvous in Paris with Anthony Coletti, her Sydney-based hairdresser. The discovery of an ongoing extramarital affair evidenced by a photograph of the pair in Paris taken by a mutual acquaintance significantly strained their marriage. Confronted with the deceit, Tony sought solace with his family while Melissa orchestrated a swift exodus. She emptied their Essex home, cleared out joint bank accounts, and returned to Sydney with their son in January 2012. Once back, she spread rumors among friends and family portraying Tony as a controlling and abusive spouse. Their marriage officially ended in 2013 with a divorce, making way for her marriage to Coletti later that year. This phase of Melissa's life showcased a deceitful pattern that would resurface in her future professional endeavors, casting a shadow over her reputation as a trusted financial advisor. On the crisp morning of November 12, 2020, an eerie silence enveloped the upscale neighborhood of Dover Heights in Sydney as Melissa Caddick vanished without a trace. This unexpected disappearance unfolded just hours following a meticulously conducted raid on her home by agents from the Australian Securities and Investment Commission and the Australian Federal Police. The last known sound associated with her was a door shutting at around 5.30 a.m., as noted by her son, who attributed it to Melissa setting out for her regular morning exercise. However, a palpable sense of concern arose as it was discovered that Melissa had left behind all her personal belongings, including her mobile phone, a detail out of character for the seasoned financial advisor. Despite an exhaustive review of the available CCTV footage in the vicinity, her exact whereabouts remained an enigma. The narrative took a grim turn on February 21, 2021, when a chilling discovery was made on the serene shores of Bournda Beach on the southern coast of New South Wales. A shoe, which encased a decomposed human foot, was found washed ashore, marking a significant distance of approximately 500 kilometers or 310 miles from Melissa's last known location. Adding to the eerie coincidence, the shoe not only matched Melissa's size, but also the description of the footwear she was seen wearing during the raid on November 11, 2020. The subsequent DNA analysis facilitated through samples collected from her toothbrush and additional samples from her family members confirmed the foot as belonging to Melissa. In a bid to piece together this mysterious puzzle, Marine police embarked on an analysis of the prevailing tidal and drift patterns. Their findings indicated a plausible trajectory. If a body had entered the waters near the vicinity of Dover Heights, close to the time of Melissa's disappearance, the currents would carry it along, reaching the shores near the quaint south coast town of Bermagui, where the unsettling discovery was made. The shoe uh, that was found down at uh uh, down south of Tarthra on the beach, there was the same type and size. Melissa Caddick's life before her abrupt disappearance was nothing short of extravagant. Residing in a $6.2 million Dover Heights mansion that boasted sweeping views of Sydney's skyline, Caddick and her second husband, Anthony Coletti, reveled in the lap of luxury. Their penchant for the finer things was evident in their frequent escapades to the opulent slopes of Aspen, Colorado. The couple, known to jet off from Los Angeles in a private aircraft, made the ritzy five-star resort The Little Nell their home during part of the American winter, a resort described by Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop site as a haven for the see-and-be-seen crowd. Back in Sydney, the couple's lavish expenditures were a testament to their high-flying lifestyle. Coletti, a DJ, hairdresser, and self-proclaimed music producer known as Paws Off, was often seen cruising the city streets in a $300,000 Audi R8, a car he proudly claimed was the first of its make to grace Australian shores. 
His love for speed was only matched by Caddick's love for exquisite jewelry, making her a regular at one of Sydney's most prestigious jewelers. The city's central business district where the luxury jeweler was located became one of Caddick's frequent haunts, as noted by Coletti. Their home was not just a dwelling but a hub of opulence, where a private chef, Lucia del Prete, was engaged three to four times a week to craft organic meals for the family. The culinary extravagance didn't stop at their doorstep. The chef was known to accompany them on holidays, ensuring a gourmet experience wherever they roamed. The narrative of their indulgence was often shared on social media, extending the spectacle of their lavish lifestyle to a broader audience. This tableau of opulence, however, was on the verge of being shattered as investigations into Caddick's financial dealings began to unfold, casting a long, unsettling shadow on the life the couple had so meticulously curated. Miss Caddick, are there any particularly high-value items here? Between October 2012 and November 2020, a dark underbelly of deceit lurked beneath the professional facade of Melissa Caddick, as she allegedly misappropriated $30 million in funds from unsuspecting clients, who were primarily her family and friends. The money, instead of being invested as promised, found its way into 37 bank accounts under her control. This significant fund misdirection was allegedly utilized for acquiring two lavish houses in Sydney's eastern suburbs, luxury cars, designer clothing, artwork, and exquisite jewelry, painting a picture of opulence attained through ill-gotten wealth. As money poured in from clients, Caddick meticulously fabricated ComSec portfolio statements and conjured fake account numbers, creating a mirage of legitimate returns on investments in shares. According to Farida Saf, counsel for ASIC, Caddick's ostensible success was nothing but a well-crafted facade, with her financial services business serving as an elaborate front for a sinister Ponzi scheme. The timeline of deceit dates back to May 6, 2009, as per court documents, marking the onset of Melissa Caddick's suspected contraventions when she established her own financial firm, sans the requisite financial services license. Over a span of 11 years, she garnered tens of millions from clients under the guise of legitimate investments. In 2014, she acquired the five-bedroom home in Dover Heights for a staggering $6.2 million. The veil began to lift on August 13, 2020, when an inadvertent conversation in a dentist's waiting room led one of Caddick's investors to the revelation that she had been operating without a financial services license. This revelation triggered a report to the Australian Securities Investment Commission, setting in motion a series of events that would soon unveil the extent of her alleged fraudulent activities. On November 10, 2020, ASIC acted by freezing her bank accounts and properties and barring her from leaving the country. The subsequent raid on her home on November 11, 2020 saw officers departing with an array of couture gowns, designer clothes, shoes, and jewelry. The following day marked the mysterious disappearance of Melissa Caddick, with only the sound of the front door closing at 5.30 a.m. as a vague trace. Unbeknownst to her family, this day would spiral into a whirlpool of investigations and unanswered questions. Melissa missed the 4 p.m. deadline to surrender her passport and any plane tickets to the police and was reported missing by her husband on November 13, 2020, a clear 30 hours post her disappearance. The discovery of Melissa Caddick's severed foot on February 21, 2021 sent shockwaves through the community, yet it raised more questions than it answered. The absence of any other remains fueled a whirlpool of suspicions and conspiracy theories regarding her actual whereabouts. The isolated find was peculiar, leading some to speculate whether Caddick had staged her own disappearance to evade the tightening noose of the law, while others pondered the grim possibilities of foul play. The lack of a body left a gaping hole in the narrative. As the days turned into weeks with no further discoveries, the theories continued to burgeon, each more speculative than the last, turning the case of Melissa Caddick into an enigmatic saga that continued to baffle both the authorities and the public alike. The 
news of the horrific discovery sent shockwaves through the community. The police embarked on a meticulous investigation, diving deep into the murky waters of her financial dealings, with her family clung on to the dwindling hope of finding her alive. The media chronicled every development, and the public speculated on forums and social media, trying to piece together the puzzle of Melissa Caddick's life and disappearance. Her alleged victims, on the other hand, were left grappling with the financial and emotional aftermath of their investments gone awry. The mystery surrounding how Melissa Caddick's foot found its way to the ocean remains unsolved, further entangling the web of theories regarding her disappearance. Criminologist Dr. Xanthi Mallet noted that the discovery of a foot does not conclusively indicate death, stating, When it was just a foot, I would caution against the possibility that someone is deceased. You can survive without your foot. This perspective opens up an array of speculative scenarios. In an interview in October 2021, Anthony Coletti, Caddick's spouse, vehemently denied any wrongdoing on her part, asserting that she never misappropriated any funds, and suggested a grim possibility that someone might have killed his wife. We are asking the community to help bring Melissa home. That is all. The narrative also branches out into other speculative territories. Some theories propose that Caddick might have orchestrated her disappearance meticulously, going to the extreme length of severing her own foot to mislead authorities, laying down a red herring to cover her tracks. Others hypothesize a scenario where Coletti could have been aiding her in remaining concealed from the law. A wide spectrum of theories ranging from self-harm to external foul play reflects the high level of uncertainty and intrigue that continue to shroud the Melissa Caddick case. Each theory introduces a new dimension of complexity, making the task of unveiling the truth a daunting endeavor for the investigators. The enigmatic case of Melissa Caddick, a tale entwined with fraud, a mysterious disappearance, and a severed foot washing ashore, continued to captivate public imagination as it navigated through the channels of justice. In 2023, an inquest delved into the murky waters surrounding her disappearance, but despite its extensive length, it rendered a sole concrete finding. Melissa Caddick is dead. As the inquest unfolded, a medley of witnesses, including forensic pathologists, family members, and orthopedic surgeons were beckoned to shed light on the events of November 2020, when Caddick vanished into thin air. The narrative, however, remained as elusive as ever, leaving Deputy State Coroner Elizabeth Ryan in a quandary regarding the circumstances enveloping the days leading up to and following Caddick's disappearance. Although the raid by ASIC on Caddick's abode a few days before her disappearance came under scrutiny, the coroner dismissed any notions of inappropriate conduct during the raid, despite the family's objections. The spotlight instead pivoted to Anthony Coletti, Caddick's spouse, whose testimony was marred by inconsistencies and lack of clarity. His narrative, which alternated between claims of Caddick being a keen runner and contradicting CCTV evidence showing she hadn't gone for a run in months, was deemed regrettable by Miss Ryan. The coroner found Coletti's withholding of information and his opaque and at times unintelligible explanations to be a hindrance to unearthing the truth. The coroner also pointed out the shortfall in referring the missing person case to the NSW homicide squad early on, hinting at a missed opportunity in preserving key information. While the realms of murder and suicide hovered as possible explanations, the coroner could not definitively lean towards either, leaving the case and manner of Melissa Caddick's death shrouded in mystery. The self-styled financial advisor whose fraudulent endeavors fleeced friends and family of up to $30 million, left behind a tale rife with intrigue and unanswered questions. The sinister possibility that Caddick could have severed her own foot or had assistance in doing so was deemed unlikely, yet remained within the realm of possibility as per the inquest findings. As Miss Ryan tendered her 54-page long findings in less than two hours, she expressed regret for the lack of closure the inquest could provide to the bereaved family, echoing the persistent enigma that encases the tale of Melissa Caddick. 
the apology to the family underscored the unsatisfying conclusion to a case that had spiraled into a complex web of deceit, mystery, and an unyielding quest for truth. The enigmatic disappearance of Melissa Caddick continues to be a topic of intrigue and speculation. As the waves crash against the shores that brought the only remnants of Caddick back to the world, the legacy of her case continues to send ripples through the financial advisory industry and the hearts of those she left behind. The story of Melissa Caddick is not just a tale of a missing person. It's a stark narrative of the labyrinth of deceit, the quest for justice, and the never-ending search for truth in a world where appearances can be beguilingly deceptive.